So ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to Brno and uh, we are at the start of the next race of Saturday's action in Brno uh, within the Asset V4 Cup and it is the GT class race number one. So uh, multiple categories together on the track and we will see for the first time today a flying start. Those are the Le Mans style prototypes. And it is Benjamin Hotz leading the way on pole. Alongside him, the Slovakian, very experienced driver Miro Konopka, driving in the Dayglow ARC Bratislava machine of the LMP2 category. Behind them, it is Petr Lissa in third, the local guy. And uh, alongside him in fourth, it is Peter Korman. In fifth, Andreas Fiedler. In sixth, Marco Fink. In seventh, Jiří Svoboda. Eighth place, that is Jasmin Fiedler. Then Alexander Frank and Wolfgang Terschel in ninth and tenth. And then it is the other category, Hemann Speck and coach McKenzie in 11th and 12th. Heiko Neumann in 13th, Gregor Zigo in 14th in his BMW GT3. 15th place, that is, that is Oliver Michael. And 16th, Daniel Skalitsky in that Audi R8. 17th place, Jürgen Bender. 18th, Sergei Pavlovets. B19, that is Denis Watt. And uh, in 20th, Boleslav Vasek. In uh, the third 10 of the starting grid we see Boris Szymanski, Ferenc Fica, Piotr Vira, Franz Dživok, Tomáš Miniberger, Petr Gross, Nemanja Milovanovic and Hans Petr Eder. So together the Le Mans prototypes, GT cars and also some of the TCR machines together on the same racetrack. We're expecting a great battle for victory. Uh, but that yellow prototype, that's already the LMP2 spec machine. The Ligier and uh, it is definitely much faster than uh, the very similar looking, but uh, in P3 in the Yannick Motorsport colors driven uh, LMP3 car with Petr Lissa behind the steering wheel and we are now re-entering the start and finish lap safety car dives back into the pits and uh, the race is currently on we are racing oh beautiful start by Petr Korman who's getting himself already ahead into the lead of the race. And now a pole man has lost uh, multiple places and he's already down into fifth or sixth. This is Miro Konopka in the ARC Bratislava Ligier. And uh, it should be Petr Korman leading the race, car number one. Leading from Miro Konopka and uh, Petr Lissa falling also down the order now in fifth. It was the car of Benjamin Hotz there in the fourth. And uh, Marco Fink there. The GT cars currently on the start and finish straight. And uh, it is the start of their category right now. So it is the Lambo and Porsche and BMW. So battle of three brands, actually four brands, because there's the Audi R8 of uh, Daniel Skalitsky around the outside. So all of them in the mix together. 
into the first corner and we are racing here at Bernot. And uh, there was also the start of the TCR section of the field and uh, there has been a change of the order in the prototype category because Mirokonopka got himself up into the first position and that is him leading the race already here at Brno in the Schwanz corner. We are now at the bottom end of the circuit and now we are beginning to climb back up onto the start and finish straight. Mirokonopka and his day glow Ligier leading the race. Behind him Benjamin, sorry it is Petr Korman in P2. And this is a fight for the lead in GT category that is coach McKenzie already leading the way from Hemann Speck Miro Konopka in first position across the line at the start oh and look at that snake of cars exiting the stadium section beautiful sight there for all the spectators who have chosen to come and visit the Masaryk circuit here just outside Brno Beautiful stuff going on after all the lockdowns, after all the limitations to be back on track with real world racing and uh, it is loud and uh, it stinks properly. You can smell the petrol and the uh, burnt tire. That's what we all want to experience back on track. So it is Hemann Speck in second and uh, behind him the Corvette of uh, Heiko Neumann. So, uh, wonderful scrap for first in the GT category. Ooh, and this is a battle of Petrlisa already attacking Marco Fink in the fight for fourth position. So, uh, Petrlisa lost two places at the start. He was third on the grid, but uh, he did not manage to hold on to that place. And uh, this is already the GT4 slash DCR category further down the order. 25 minutes of racing action again. That's a standard length of races here during the SNV4 Cup. Only in the later afternoon we'll see one endurance race that will be contested over a full hour. So it is the Lamborghini Huracan of uh, Coach McKenzie. It's Lambo versus Porsche. And uh, it is Hemann Speck in uh, basically second. It is the scrap for 10th and 11th overall. Right behind them it is Jürgen Pender in the end. And uh, further up the order in the prototype category Petr Lissa has managed to get himself up into fourth so uh, he did overtake Marco Fink and this is a beautiful beautiful fight for the lead among GTs and the Corvette has already dealt with the Porsche and now is traveling the Lamborghini nice battle of brands and colors So uh, it is the massive GT battle re-entering the start and finish straight and uh, the Corvette of Jürgen Bender trying to get himself into the lead of the, of the class. Beautiful stuff there and uh, Lamborghini versus Corvette on the back straight. Ooh. Beautiful fight into turn number three and uh, Jürgen Bender trying to come up with something there. He's still stuck behind that Lambo. He's trying to be careful because uh, he cannot afford to make any mistake. Otherwise, he will be immediately under more pressure from the yellow Porsche as well. And this is that overtake for the lead of the GT class. Jürgen Bender 
overtaking coach McKenzie and coach McKenzie falling down to second wonderful stuff there and uh, it is now Hermann Speck who would love to have a go a contact there between the Lambo and the Porsche they are a tad little too aggressive there so uh, Hermann Speck tried to get himself in front of uh, coach McKenzie he closed that door but uh, coach McKenzie still had his nose in it Sorry, it was Coach McKenzie who closed the door and it was Hermann Speck who was uh, having a look there still. So there was a slight contact, slight wobble of the Lambo and ooh, look at this. It is a much, much better exit of the first corner by uh, Hermann Speck. But again, there was not enough space around the outside there on the back straight. And uh, Hermann Speck uh, has had to give up a bit, but he's trying to find another way at the exit of third corner but that gap was closing too fast for Hermann Speck's liking and uh, this is all helping Jürgen Bender who has been escaping this pair and uh, he also set his personal best last time out of 2 minutes 7 seconds 0 0.690 whereas uh, Hermann Speck and uh, Coach McKenzie only managed times above 2 minutes 10. So that's a massive, massive difference there. Mirok Onopka leading from uh, Benjamin Hotz. And uh, there is probably trouble for Petr Gorman because he was leading the race right after the start and now he's down into fifth. So it is Petre, uh, sorry, Miro Konopka leading the race from Benjamin Hotz and Petr Lissa. So Petr Lissa already back up into third. Marco Fink in fourth. Then it is Petr Korman, Izzy Svoboda in sixth position, Jasmin Fiedler in seventh and Alexander Frank in eighth. Ooh, another try, another attempt from Hermann Speck and another not exactly perfect exit of the last corner from coach McKenzie it's still amazing to try and watch everything and uh, have your eyes everywhere because we are watching fights on two fronts among the prototypes and in the GT, cla GT class so uh, really a lot going on this is one of the KTM's there So back into the battle for second among GT cars. Still coach McKenzie holding on to that position from Hermann Speck. Lamborghini trying to defend 
using the inside line into the Schwanz corner, but he's just not accelerating out of the corners fast enough. And uh, he's so slow through the corners, but then so fast along the straights. So it's still very, very hard for Hermann Speck to overtake coach McKenzie, even though he's been trying everything he can. Again, look at that difference. Look at that difference through the last corner. And uh, Hermann Speck was so much faster on the entry, but then got blocked by coach McKenzie, which means that the Lamborghini driver still stays ahead. One of the back markers having been overtaken on uh, the start and finish straight and uh, Hermann Speck having another go. In the meantime, it is still Miro Konopka leading the race. There he goes. The Slovakian driver also overtaking some of the back markers. So uh, the speed difference is so vast that already on lap number six, or after, after six laps, so on lap number seven, we are overtaking some of the GTs that are clearly slower. Miro Konopka in the lead of the race from Benjamin Hotz and Petr Lissa. Another attempt. It's really, really, it is a massive difference between the pair. But still, Hermann Speck has not been able to capitalize on that fact. Ooh, the Porsche going too wide there. But even so, he's so much faster. Look at that. The Lamborghini is simply very slow through the corners and doesn't get going at the exits. This is really interesting. And uh, Hermann Speck is so much faster, definitely, in the free air. He would set so much better lap times than the Lamborghini. And this is the car number 630 of Heiko Neumann who has been uh, getting closer. He's chopped another six or eight tenths of a second there. Coach McKenzie. Still second within the GT class, and Hermann Speck is already trying to find the gap pretty much everywhere he can. Those were the corners three and four where you don't normally see anybody overtake, maybe after the start, but usually drivers leave it here for the stadium section. All the way down here, and Hermann Speck has been trying, but uh, He's got to attempt absolutely everything he can now because he's already lost so much time behind coach McKenzie, which also means that Jürgen Berger, sorry, Jürgen Bender has already pulled quite a lot of a gap in front of this duo. trying to have another go but that only meant that he missed the apex there but even so even though he misses the apex he's so much faster and now now this is a good opportunity because there was a big big mistake from the Lambo he was too wide at the exit and now Hermann Speck but look at the Lambo it is just so fast down the straights but even so then under braking Hermann Speck already successful and Hermann Speck gets himself finally up into second 
So uh, he is there. Such an amazing battle. And you can see that the Lamborghini is simply absolutely nowhere through the corners. He's so slow. But then he opens the gas on the straight and he simply drives off from the Porsche and away. Uh, but now, finally, Hermann Speck managed to capitalize on that one mistake, on that exit that was a bit too wide. And uh, the speed difference was indeed so big that uh, Hermann Speck finally made it stick. This is another battle, that's one of the KTMs and it should be Ferenc Fitzar in the BMW there, the M4, car number 40 and uh, defense driving from Sergei Pavlovets. Another attempt into the first corner and that was already Petr Lissa. Back there on the start and finish straight, Petr Lissa. He's already lost over half a minute on Mirokonovka. That, well, so vast is the difference between the LMP2 and LMP3 machines. And between them is also Benjamin Hotz in B2. Uh, He's some five seconds adrift from Mirokonovka in second. Petr Lissa then uh, currently holding on to that remaining podium position. Also wonderful scrap there between Ferenc Fica and uh, Sergei Pavlovets. Sergei Pavlovets, stronger underbreaking, and this is also another beautiful battle in the GT class. That is Daniel Skalitsky versus Gregor Zhigo. Dan Skalitsky driving that blue and white Audi R8, whereas Gregor Zhigo in that uh, grey-ish, grey-blue greenish BMW M6 GT3 just over six minutes still left on the clock Daniel Skalitsky currently holding on to 11th position and uh, He's having to keep an eye on uh, Gregor Zhigo and watch carefully what the Slovakian opponent is doing. The Czech driver defending his 11th place there. And that is the battle in the lower category. Because in front of this, uh, this couple are four drivers in the B9-6 category. Those are Jürgen Bender, Hermann Speck, Coach McKenzie and uh, Heiko Neumann. And these are the duck racing and travel racing machines of Daniel Skalitsky and Gregor Zhigo leading the D4 GT3 class among themselves or between themselves. Then Oliver Michael in another B9 car in 13th. And Alexander Frank down there in 14th. Gregor Zhigo having a go there on Daniel Skalitsky. Beautiful battle on the start and finish straight and Dan Skalitsky still holding on to that position from Gregor Zhigo. 
Gregor having a look down the inside. Didn't look like it at the beginning of the corner. But Dan Skalitsky is still holding on to that place. Gregor Zigo trying it again and now switching back on the inside line. And Gregor Zigo in third corner getting himself up in front of Dan Skalitsky. But Dan Skalitsky definitely not giving up. This is going to be a beautiful scrap for the position. Oh my goodness. And they how did they do how did they not touch? I do not know. Because that was so close between the pair. And it is Gregor Zigo up into the lead of the class. So still beautiful scrap between the pair. And it is Gregor Zigo up in front of Daniel Skalitsky. That was a wonderful battle there. Stretching from uh, the opening turn of the of the circuit all the way to T4, but now Dan Skalitsky seemingly showing a slightly slower pace there, and uh, it looks like he's going to fall behind a little bit. Needs to be said that this Audi is already quite old. It is the granny, as they like to call it, within the team. And uh, this is Mirokonovka. But look at this. This is getting interesting for the for the outright lead of the race because Mirokonovka, he did have a five-second five lead just a while back, but now that is not the case anymore. And it is Benjamin Ahotz who has managed to chop off that gap right all the way down under one second and uh, there is quite a lot of traffic that both drivers have to overtake and have to get through and benjamin hotz has already got himself under one second adrift behind mirokonopka and we still have less than two minutes left on the clock so we should be able to start another lap after this one and it is going to be exciting in the fight for first benjamin hotz Definitely hot on his heels and uh, trying to be as aggressive as possible. On the last lap, it was two, minute, two minutes, one second, point, point four for Miro Konopka. Two minutes, 0 0.7 for Benjamin Hotz. Petr Lissa already nearly a full minute down the order in the class of his own in third. But Benjamin Hotz can still make it for the lead of the race. This is going to be really interesting. Mirokonopka is having to defend and uh, he's got a lot to do all around himself because there are so many backmarkers that he's got to carefully overtake. But he also has to keep watching his rearview mirrors because in them somewhere down there is Benjamin Hotz and he is not very far back. So Miro Konopka overtaking one of the TCR Coopers, entering another lap and this should be the last lap of the race, last lap of the race. Less than 20 seconds left on the clock when the drivers drove over the line and Miro Konopka, this is still not decided and there is still so much traffic ahead, Miro Konopka trying to defend that lead of the race but Benjamin Hotz is hot on his heels and he is very close and Miro Konopka can definitely see and feel it oh that was one of the Corvettes that now blocked Benjamin Hotz also one of the open top cars there being currently lapped and Miro Konopka is trying to hold on to that first position still not allowing the black prototype into any overtaking opportunity there. Miro Konopka now overtaking the slower prototype of the Yannick Motorsport there. And this is really, really very interesting indeed because Benjamin Hotz, it seems to me as though he was more successful in overtaking the back markers and he is definitely very close so we will enter the last sector of the last lap of this race 
and it's going to be so much exciting. Just look at this. And uh, we are now climbing back uphill. So it is Miro Konopka. Miro Konopka versus Benjamin Hotz. It looks now like, like uh, Miro Konopka is going to defend that first position. He has had a look, another look into the rear view mirrors. We saw that movement of the head, but now he is re-entering the start and finish straight. And Miro Konopka is victorious here in Brno. Amazing stuff for the lead of the race in the dying minutes of the action. And Miro Konopka has held on to that victory here in Brno. Benjamin Hotz in second. Petr Lissa currently a distant third. But uh, he's, uh, well, nearly a full minute down the order. And this is an interesting battle between Ferenc Fica and Sergei Pavlovets on the last lap of the race as well. So uh, Jürgen Bender victorious in the lower category and overall in P5 but this is still very interesting because Sergei Pavlovets has pushed Ferenc Fica into a small mistake and a small gap has been opened down the inside there but Sergei Pavlovets did not manage to capitalize on that he's re really trying to unnerve Ferenc Fica in every way possible he's flashing the headlights to show himself in his rear view mirrors this is really going to be very interesting Sergei Pavlovets but still short to mount a proper challenge in this fight but uh, definitely bless him for trying Ooh, that was a little bit of a mistake from Ferenc Fica and that exit is really bad and Sergei Pavlovets can try again coming up the hill another flashing of lights that KTM is simply not fast enough along the straights he's so much stronger under braking but those straights that top speed is simply not there and they are both now exiting the last corner Ferenc Fica is holding on to his position Sergei Pavlovets has to be happy about what he managed to do not much actually in the end but uh, He's got to make do with B17, and that was one heck of a race again. Beautiful stuff, beautiful battles all the way through the field in all categories. We had a fight for the victory in the end between Miro Konopka and Benjamin Hotz. We also had a fight for the lead in the lower P9 class, although it was won quite dominantly in the end by Jürgen Bender, but there was a beautiful scrap between Hermann Speck and Coach McKenzie. It was a... Uh, long fought and hard battle and uh, it appeared for a long time that even though Hermann Speck was visibly faster he would not be able to do it but in the end he did manage to find the recipe as to how to overtake coach McKenzie and he did it so he comes home second in his category and eighth overall from ninth place coach McKenzie Heiko Neumann has to do with B10 so, Miro Konopka victorious from Benjamin Hotz and Petr Lissa in third, Marko Fink in fourth, Jürgen Bender in fifth, then there's Jesi Svoboda, P6, Jasmin Fiedler in seventh and completing the top ten are Hemant Speck, Coach McKenzie and Heiko Neumann. Behind them after another nice battle, Gregor Zhigo and Daniel Skalitsky. In 13th it is Oliver Michael, in 14th Dennis Watt, in 15th Boris Szymanski. Behind them the beautiful scrap between Ferenc Fica and Sergei Pavlovets. And then also Alexander Frank, Boleslav Vašek, Piotr Vera, Tomáš Miniberger, Petr Gross, Nemanja Milovanovic, Franz Dživok, Hans-Petr Eder, Wolfgang Terschel and in the last two positions Petr Korman and Andreas Fiedler. That was the first race of the GT class, the 25 minute racing action that was all very exciting and I can't wait to watch the full hour endurance race later on today and also the race number two within this category also uh, tomorrow uh, during the Sunday program and uh, what is uh, awaiting us today 
So uh, after this GT race, we will be watching uh, the race number two of the Renault Twingo Cup. And we already saw in the morning that it can get really exciting among the Twingos. Right uh, after that, we'll uh, witness the Boss GP. Beautiful stuff. Formula One and GP2 cars from various eras fighting it out right on track uh, among each other. That's going to be interesting as well. And then after uh, a, a bit of a longer gap there, it's going to be the GT Endurance, the top of the Saturday program. So let's uh, look forward to that. And uh, from now, from the GT race number one, it is a goodbye.